Mission wise, we've just got the evacuation location, which is out inside Pripyat, which I don't think I can get to yet. I don't know. M maybe. I have my doubts. But uh, maybe I check it out just to see. I don't think I can just walk in there, though. Um, stash there, apparently, to get. But otherwise, it is the road to Pripyat. Investigate the repair workshop of the Jupiter plant. Going back down there. Some sort of project thing that was being worked on, right? It was... Yeah, you know, item 62. Hmm. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I go to the waste processing station. Does anybody feel like bringing me down there? Like, you, know, you guys, you guys don't leave at all. Yeah, inventory wise, completely fine. There's a blood sucker there. Yeah. He doesn't seem all too bothered by this. He's hurting. There he goes. He's out of here. He didn't even notice. Not at all. Didn't care whatsoever. He's like, ow, my face. I'm being shot. I'm almost dead, but I'm just going to keep walking. Hello? Green star. I can help. I help. Hello, green star. Who are you? Eh. We don't know. Take the sausage. Take the drink. I'll eat the bread. Take the buckshot. I'm listening. Okay, yeah, hi. Hello? There's still something around? Is that what you're upset about? I never know. What's up, Bodon Hacker? Alright. Uh, where can I find some tools? Sidorovich's bunker at Corden. Hmm. Um, you don't want to like move me though or anything? What are you up to? Need to go someplace? The waste processing station. Five hundred. All right, fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's fenced off. I figured as much, but I just wanted to check just to be sure. Like a sanity check of sorts. And that's fenced off there too. Okay, uh, yeah, fine, fair enough. Got it, cool. I didn't think it would have been that easy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I guess while I'm here, I'll do a quick look around for stuff and then I'll head back to Skidovsk, probably just pay for it, and then down to Yanov and we'll check out the... Uh, the, the, the thing down there. We still clear in here? Nothing else. No, like, psychic pseudo dogs or anything like that. Huh. Road to Pripyat. Investigate Department 1 of the Jupiter plant. Uh, okay. The documents mention that pursuant to an order of Department 1 following the sealing of the transportation lock, the Pripyat 1 underpass was flooded with carbon dioxide mixed with some kind of chemical additive. Consequently, all staff were instructed to wear chemical protection suits with closed cycle respiratory modules. Right, I don't have that. I don't have any, like, fancy suits. But, uh... Okay, now where are you having me go? Back outside. Of course, it's also pissing rain out here, so I can barely hear anything. Ugh. It's the worst. So this is the super radiated area, though. I came out this way. But I never went in here. I didn't notice there's a door. Okay. Yeah, radiation. A little bit intense there for a moment. Nothing I can't handle, though. We got... 
safe that I can't do anything with. Can't can't quite crawl in there for that. Some more documents. Nothing I can loot though. Schematics for the Pripyat 1 underpass. This is proof that there is an underground way to get to Pripyat. Yeah, sure. But nothing else here. Okay. Well, uh... Cool. I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess we head back now. Like, all the way back. That's annoying. I missed, like, a document. I drank that energy drink while I was running up here, and with this artifact on, and my energy regeneration the way it was, it was maxed out, I was still gaining energy while sprinting. Hey there. That's awesome. Hello. I found some documents. They describe a way of getting to Pripyat. <sighs> Lost. Longer pass schematics, duty, shift log, and documents with notes. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To summarize, there's an underground underpass designated Pripyat 1, which runs under the city of Pripyat, with one section that ends in a lock located in the Jupiter Plant's transportation section. Impressive. Judging by the notes, it has been sealed, filled with gas, and the power to it has been cut. I suppose I could try to revive the generator and open the lock, only... Only I ain't going through Jupiter without protection, so I suggest that you don't even think about going underground on your own. You'll need to have a couple of buddies with you at least. You are going to need suits with close psychorespiratory modules too, otherwise you won't last a minute down there. Listen, Zulu lives in a tower not far from here. Try talking to him. If you guys head it off, he'll tell you how to put a squad together. Okay. So find a suit, talk to Zulu. Fine. Sure. Um, repair modifications. 88. All right. See you next time. I'll see if dude is selling a bit more ammo for the sniper, because I'm actually a pretty low. Although I might, I might already have a bunch. Let's see. They've been putting ammo in the box. So, it could be that... Yeah, I've got a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. This fucking machine gun. I am a little curious. <laughs> Maybe when I get tier 3 upgrades, I'll I'll fully upgrade it. It's just, just to check it out and see. Oh, man. Uh, Put away... I don't know. Some of this... He's actually just selling a Siva bodysuit. Um, I might just buy that. <laughs> I was a little curious on ammo because I'm running kind of low on this ammo. Actually, I don't have any more of it spare. So I was I was hoping I could maybe buy some, and then I noticed that um, produced by one of Kiev's defense research institutes. Great alternative to homemade soccer suits. Built-in body armor can only stop a pistol around the anomaly and radiation uh, system is second to none. Fully upgradable, boasting two built-in artifact containers. It's the equipment of choice. I, I'm actually really tempted to buy that, because I don't know what to spend money on otherwise. So, I think I will. <laughs> it's better in every way than what I've currently got. Weapon-wise, nothing too wild. So, I'll buy it. Done. Cool. See you next time. And that's... I just need to talk to Zulu now, right? Because this this counts as the uh, the what's it? Oh, I see. That replaces my uh, gas mask. Eh, well, I mean that makes a lot of sense. So side protection, I'm not so great because this was really good side protection, and a little bit chem protection. So chem protection, yeah, still more. So let's see then, I might actually head back up and see about upgrading that. We'll put the, uh, the Sunrise bodysuit, was it? Yeah, Sunrise bodysuit. 
see about putting that away. And put my artifacts back on. And just to replenish my money a little bit, I have an eye for him. So there you go, 18,000. The eye was plus four wound healing. I've got a thing for plus six wound healing, so I don't care. <laughs> Get out of here, and it's only wound healing. It's not like it's a health restoration or something, so it's nothing that I'd really want to stack so much. Unless I go through some anomaly that's just like, oh, I just lacerates and doesn't actually hurt. You just bleed out or something. I don't think that's a thing, though. So I will eat the sausage, because... Yeah. And I've got two vodka. Howdy. Hey. You want a shot? Here's to a steady hand. And out of curiosity, do you have anything, like, cool and fancy? You've also got one. All right. I mean, that's... It's fucking awesome. Good to know. So, you got the so what do we got? Armor plus 10%. Sure. Suit durability plus 10%. Yeah. Energy recovery plus 2. Oh, that's nice. Sure. Chem protection and rad protection. Absolutely. And then active filters for chem protection and rad protection. Absolutely. This turns into a little more side protection. That kind of counteracts the fact that I didn't have a mask. Um, even more side protection? Sure, so that definitely. Ooh. Ooh, additional artifact container? Or weight carry- uh, artifact container? Fuck yeah. And then, there's a plus two one, so this suit can actually be maxed out. The Sunrise bodysuit, I think it only had a tier three upgrade for plus two, so that would only be able to have four total. Thermal protection or electric protection? Um, let's go with... Thermal. And then suit durability or impact negation. I don't know. Suit suit durability though probably. Alrighty. Man, that's fucking sweet. Okay, cool. So see ya. Then I can have. Um, don't really need battery on. I mean, we keep you for the minus three radiation. And then I had... I think it might be in the other box. I had something else for reduced radiation, but then I could put on, like, Heart of the Oasis or something for health restoration and wound healing and energy recovery and also a little bit of hunger elimination. It just does nothing too much, but does do a bit of everything. So I'd like to have that, but I need to contract that radiation, which... Yeah, I don't know. Something blipped. What was that message log? How do you feel about earning some cash? Oh, that was from before. What? I think ammo is what was going on about then. And was placed in Yanov. I heard a bleep when I was looking in that. So... I think then, I guess I head back. Again. Which, I need to anyway. I don't think there's anything else here to do. Yeah, jellyfish. There it is. So, swap that on. So now I've got minus... 5 radiation overall, and I can throw Heart of the Oasis on. And there we go, we're still minus 1 radiation. And we get wound healing, energy recovery, hunger elimination, health restoration. <sighs> Fucking sweet, I'm really happy with that, that's great. And I've got enough slots to move around things and um, adjust super easily. You've still got, man, okay, I can just buy these now, no problem. They are not rare anymore. Good deal. So, talk to... who Zulu was it? Sure. I'm listening, man. Oh yeah. Big fucking tower there. Hmm. Nice piss bucket. <laughs> yeah. You love up here, then. 
Hi. What's up, bro? I've got important business to discuss with you. Cool, let's have a drink first to make sure we take this important business as seriously as we should. Okay. I can't move. Nice, mostly poured it all over himself. Well done. So, what's this business you mentioned? I'm planning to go to Pripyat via the underground passage that goes under the Jupiter plant. Nitro can get the entrance open. Hmm, going to Pripyat underground. That's an idea, and that calls for another drink. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, this is good stuff. I hope you're not planning on tackling this mission on your own. No, that won't do. I'll go with you. And we're gonna need others, too. A couple of trustworthy people that are always useful in this kind of thing. Uh, Nitro advised me to get the squad together. I can do it on my own, you know. I mean, at Zaton, I took out a bloodsucker lair on my own. A couple of gas tanks and it's party time. Trustworthy, huh? Well, this place is full of scum. I met a trader at Zaton, but it turned out he was from duty. This this dude's from duty. He's got the duty uniform on. Nitro did advise me to get a squad together, although I feel a little bit like boasting. Wow, respect, man. Let's drink to always having a gas tank to hand. <laughs> hey, this is good stuff. I hope you're not... Uh, uh. Nitro advised me to get a squad together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's have another drink to the success of this mission. Fucking hell. Hmm, <sighs> nice, isn't it? The squad is a good idea. We need at least three people. You got anyone in mind? Uh, I'll find some folks. We're also going to need suits with closed cycle respiratory modules. You know this weird fella called Noah? He locked himself in on a barge with all kinds of goodies. His version of hello is unloading both barrels of his shotgun on you. He has a pretty fun time. And I met Vano at Yanov some time back, and he couldn't seem to pay off his debt to the bandits. Anyway, help the poor bastard out. There's also that mercenary group that I fed too, that could maybe help. I mean, we'll, we'll mention Noah. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a while. He and I worked together a while back. He was a good fighter. Too bad he's gone off the deep end like that. Let's drink to him and his mental health. To Noah! <laughs> oh my god, how much money do you spend on vodka, sir? And I met Vano at Yanov some time back. Cool, the trip is sure to be more fun with him around, plus he can carry all the supplies. To Vano! Yeah, I'll find some folks. We're gonna need some suits with closed cycle respiratory modules. Yeah, safety first and all that. About that, don't worry about me, because my suit is all good. But we will need them for the others, and it may take a little work. Those suits aren't exactly coming around here. You say that, I mean... You say that. Every vendor's got one. Here's to a successful search. Cheers! Okay, well that seems to be it. The main thing is to make sure we don't get lost underground. I've got the schematics. Cool. Let's drink another to the success of our mission. And passing out. And bleh. Okay, it's a deal. We'll go together. Whatever fighters you see, send them my way and I'll make a team out of them. Once everything is ready, give me a shout. We'll pick up Nitro and head for Jupiter. Do I like actually need a team though because like genuinely okay no not really where can i find fighters ask the folk around jupiter the guys who say to zaton won't go to pripyat for sure okay we need fellows that ain't got nothing holding them back they've got to be willing to join what is basically a desperate mission do you remember meeting anyone like that maybe someone who owes you or you know someone who ain't settled down yeah all right the guys who stayed at zaton won't go to pripyat for sure are you sure? Like, I mean, we could maybe talk no one to doing it, though. But he, he seems like he could maybe be up for it. <laughs> Hello, Vano. I'm putting a team together to go to Pripyat. You want to join me? You help me, friend, so I'll help you. 
We'll need a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module to get to Pripyat. Man, that sucks. My suit has one. You can stick your head into an oven and breathe just fine. But I pawned it at Hawaiians. If only we could get it back. I'm broke and we'll need five grand. Dude, I literally piss money. Five thousand? Easy. There you go. Take it. You're really saving my ass here, friend. I'll follow you wherever now. Let's go see Zulu. Of course, we should pay a visit to Hawaiian on the way to get my suit back. Let's go. What's up? Um, hello? <laughs> huh. Uh, Silvano's along for the ride, eh? Great, we got ourselves someone to carry all our supplies. <laughs> Relax, man. I'm just kidding. Uh, I think we got enough people. No, okay. Uh, how long have you known Vano? We met at 100 Reds a couple of times. They say he's honest, optimistic, and a good stalker, but he's way too gullible, and that's a fatal flaw in the zone. Okay. Um, oh boy, I can I can kind of see why, because you fast travel here with the person, so being able to like go up from the northern area down here, it's sort of like a fee free fast travel that would normally cost you money because you have to talk to... Uh, um, the, the scout man guy person. For some reason, I wanted to call him Pathfinder, but I, I really don't know why. <laughs> but whatever. You, what's your name? Hello, pilot. That's the one. Well, good luck to you. Fucking pilot. Uh, Howdy, ho. Who else have I helped? I mean, I, I helped you, Uncle Yar. Will you go to Pripyat with me? Nah, if I was younger, I remember I used to walk to Siberia and back. But I try to keep my short my trip short these days, getting old I suppose. There's the hunter guy that I helped out. There's a hostage situation that I fucked. How goes the hunt? Uh, he don't wanna. Uh boy, I I I haven't actually done jack shit here. Uh, a duty leader guy? What's Hello. Your business here? Hi, you want to go to Pripyat? Oh, actually, I'm planning to go to Pripyat. Will you give me a few fighters for this mission? We're short on manpower as it is. I'm not sending anyone on a hopeless mission. Oh. Uh, I have the Dakmans from the Jupiter plant. I have the PDA of your supply officer, Morgan. Maybe. I'm not going to ask where you got this from. Let's make this simple. I'll buy this PDA from you for 4000 I've long been curious as to what our supply officer is doing when he's not at work. I'll think about it. Dakman's from Jupiter Plant. Well, let's have a look. Well, there's nothing of strategic importance here, but it could come in handy. I'll buy all these at 500 per document. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoarding all this shit because, like, I don't know how to get the best deal for it. And I don't know what else it's for. It doesn't weigh very much, so it's like, eh. And I don't really need the money anyway, so it's really not that high on my priority list. You there, Yasha Shepard. You wanna to come to Pripyat with me? Uh, can you suggest anyone that's not too tied down who'd be willing to make a move to Pripyat? Huh. Uh, listen, man, I heard that a squad was spotted by the dry lake south of the Double A complex. Oh yeah, I never did go there. Apparently they're not the usual stalkers or freedom or duty. They're monolith men. Monolith. Monolith were, um, they were in Chernobyl a little bit. Toward the very end. They're the ones I think you fight at the very end. They like worshipped the damned thing. So if you need someone to go to Pripyat with, they're just a ticket. You, you do realize I'm kidding, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, you. Uh. So south of the double A complex. Same deal. You there, Mr. Armored. Well, you could start a recruitment campaign in a mental hospital. Oh. Then again, I know a good alternative. Monolith fighters. Speaking of which, a squad... Monolith fight. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll go to the double-A complex. Ugh. Jesus. <laughs> uh, there's also the scientist bunker. Maybe they'll actually help me do things now. Maybe I'll swing by them. On the way, now that I actually have like a proper suit, because before they're like, uh, "You're garbage, and you can't uh, stuff and things," they just shoot me away right away because my gear was terrible. So maybe I can help them out, and maybe they'll have a uh, 
a dude that I can bring with. Hey. Hey. You, um... Can you do anything with this yet? No, like tier 3 stuff, right? I think so. I forgot that you could do tier 2 stuff, though, honestly. Um, okay. Bye. Good luck. Yeah, like maybe one of Will these dudes go? or something? I'm listening. Lieutenant Man. Gary. I'm listening. Hello? Yeah. Have you by any chance seen the people responsible for guarding our bunker? Um, they're right outside. What happened to them? I don't know, they just disappeared. I don't think I okay. I know people. Oh. They'll be oh. given full scientific support and the latest technological developments in exchange for their work. You'll get a reward too. Dale. I found some documents. Whoa. Uh. Okay. I found some documents at the plant. Would you like to have a look? That's interesting, but not very useful. Thanks for your efforts anyway. If you find anything else, bring it here. The administrative documents, and I received a bunch of stuff. I kind of expected I to get a choice. I was attacked by mercenaries while I was looking for the documents. Here's our leader's PDA. Wow, and I thought that they were here to protect us. Oh, uh, I know what happened to their guards. <laughs> um, um, okay, do you need help? We're trying to collect a new type of samples at the moment. They don't have any anomalous effect on their own, but experiments we conduct with them produce incredible results. Our research team, made up of local stalkers, recently found a psi field that is highly unusual. According to our theories and the measurements taken, the nature of this field is such that it has intermittent psi effects, as opposed to emitting them permanently. Okay, um, cut the crap and tell me what he's doing, apparently. <laughs> okay, the stalkers who found the psi field believe that it contains a mutant layer. I don't really believe them. I mean, no mutant other than a controller can survive an intermittent psi field. Don't worry, our boys will deal with the mutants. We need to simply... We need you simply because regular contact with psi fields has reduced our stalker's resistance to their effects. So you want me to jump into an unknown psi field and get you a sample of something that might not even be there, and if it... And if it is there, nobody knows what it looks like. Exactly. <laughs> Great. This mission is essential for science in general and for our team in particular. Your help would be invaluable. If you have any doubts, go see Ozerski. He will conduct the necessary analysis, which will identify your current resistance to psi emissions. You can also ask our stalkers and they'll explain it all to you. So, are you willing? Sure. Talk to Topol. Oh, well that's Ozerski. Hi. I'd like to check my resistance to the psi field. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd like to check my resistance to the psi field. Ah, so Hermann has sent you to see me. Okay, let me explain this as simply as I can. In order to properly analyze your resistance to psi emissions, I will need a scientific research complex in years of study. What I actually have is a field kit with a couple of dirty test tubes. So it's impossible? Not so fast. We're not talking about a full analysis. For our aims, we merely need to assess the resistance of your neurons to psi emissions. A basic examination will do just fine. So it seems that your head is in order. That is to say that you can be affected by relatively high levels of psi emissions without losing consciousness. Okay. That was quick. Sure, yeah, I've got really good psi resistance. Um, I can also throw on an artifact for it. I'm, I'm basically immune to it. Fact. I don't think I have a plus six psi resistance thing, but... Uh... Yeah. So that'd be radiation minus three, plus one. So I got two radiation spare. I don't know, battery? Um... Right, your new guards. I want to talk to the mercenary guys anyway, actually. So that, that sort of works out. Okay, they're just they're just hanging out. Fine. Can I have? 
Maybe I get that when I do all their stuff. So let me. <laughs> so you're the whole expert, eh? <laughs> Don't worry, you can count on the boys to take the muties out nice and quick. I, I am significantly I'm more listening. well armed than you are. Fucking moron. Okay, well let's sure. It's just, okay, I can ask them. Okay, fine. So I'll be back for that. One moment. Let me head back up, talk to the mercenaries that I fed, and see if they either A, want to help me get to Pripyat, or B, defend the scientist bunker. They're both in a completely different zone, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but you never know. Hatchet. Um. Ooh, I get to maybe choose. Will you join me for Pripyat? No, my place is here for now. Would you like to work for the scientists? Guarding their bunker. Okay, that's fine. So here's not your home. Okay. Guarding the scientists. Return to Hermann for your reward. Okay, cool. Uh, well, that's pretty simple and easy. I figured they'd be useful for something. Um. So cool. Anybody else to talk to while I'm here? I guess I could recheck the Iron Forest Anomaly, the Oak Pine Anomaly. Um, trying to think of important people that I've helped. Like, I can still talk to talk to Noah at the old barge and see what he's got. Let's check the Iron Forest and Anomaly real fast. The emission happened a long while ago, so I'm pretty sure I'm too late for everything. I, I don't think stuff sticks around. I think the people uh, loot it, or at least the game pretends that they did. I'm not really sure. Uh, I also helped the dude hunt a chimera. I don't know. A dude said that people at Zatan wouldn't be interested, but fuck him and his opinions. Maybe they are. Damn it. Why do you guys hang out here? This is such a stupid spot to hang out. <laughs> don't get it. Yeah, that's empty here. Okay. Figured as much. I, I looted it last time. Another bloodsucker here. Spooky. Don't know where it went. Uh, I think I chased it out to somebody else. Excellent. Have fun with that, whoever. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it seems like it's empty here. I'm not getting anything. Okay. Oh, you guys see that bloodsucker? Jason, I don't know. It came out of nowhere. It's growing around. Holster your weapon. It's all right. Do you know, you know of anybody? I don't think there's anyone like that around here. Everyone who wanted to be closer to the center of the zone left for Jupiter. That's where I'd ask. You say that, I'm but I'm not so sure. Noah? Hello? It's me. You remember me, right? Maybe? That dude's actually, like, armored. Are you friend or foe? Your friend. Yeah, somebody king. Marsha king, I think. Hello. Hey, you remember me. The stalker, we've met before. Oh. Yeah, okay, fine. I thought, I thought maybe. Fine, fine. Do you have an artifact here? No, okay. I don't know, I just thought that the tower and the stairs, and I thought, well, maybe at the top of the tower there's something, and it's like emitting some crazy size shit, and that's why it's batshit insane. I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> Do 
guys take care of it. Some dogs or yeah, bandits. I was reminded that Nimble was upstairs and apparently he's a vendor who sells unique things, but I had completely forgotten about him. Um, and when I first saw him, I'm not even sure if I remember, he's from Chernobyl and I think he's also in Clear Sky a little bit. Um, so that, that's quite nice that you see characters from other games in this one. It really helps sort of sell the whole, like, people are just living here and this is their just development over time type thing. Uh, it's, it's neat. I like, I like seeing recurring characters, something familiar. Uh, hello, I'm Nimble. People come to me for unique weapons, rare models, prototypes, unique shooters, stuff like that, plus elite equipment, the latest modifications of protective and combat suits. I check every item personally, so quality is guaranteed. I'd like to place an order. I need... Yeah, you can order a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module from him. Um, an exoskeleton, armored suit, sniper weapon, assault weapon, close range weapon, pistol. I mean, an exoskeleton sounds like pretty sweet. You must have given this choice a lot of thought. That I read that sarcastically. <laughs> it's like I want, I want an armor that's got mini guns and seven sockets on it for artifacts. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I can get my hands on a combat version. But it'll cost you 60,000. Expensive, I know, but well worth it. Keep in mind, you'll need 12,000 of that paid right now. All right, shit. Dude, that's like fucking nothing. I'll take five. <laughs> How long till my orders? <laughs> Is it here yet? <laughs> Usually it takes you a day, sometimes less. Okay. Thanks. So, as I understand it, um, yeah, I think I was sheltering myself from the, uh, in a mission, like, really early on, and I looked at you, but I never talked to you. But yeah, that's, that's, that's nimble. Nice. What are they doing out there? They're still at it out there. Unreal. Uh, this is the cool way, as far as I know, to get... Kind of sort of like a little bit of chance to get something good. Sometimes it's not so good, it's not really what you want, and you end up paying extra for it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, 60,000. Yeah, okay, I need to make a little bit more money, which is fine. That's no problem. We'll just, we'll talk to him tomorrow at some point for the rest of it. Oh. Oh, I see. I don't really blame you guys for still fighting this thing. Hello, who are you? Oh, Masha King. Dude, that guy's got a, a Siva suit. Man, they're getting fucked up by this thing. Look at all the white dots on the compass. <laughs> no, no, not me. Not me. Not me, you dick. I took care of it. But, like, there's so much loot over here. There's a dude. Here's a dude. Ooh. Cool detector. Okay, so we're starting to see people in this stuff now. Dongo Butterfingers. That's not a cool name to have if you're looking for artifacts and stuff. Oops, I dropped it. Nah. <laughs> All right. And, you know, I guess I'll take some of this rubbish bullshit ammo, too, because why not? I'm heading to a safe box anyway. Man, that was like a little war against that thing. <laughs> Although, they are using, like, really basic weapons, so I suppose I don't really blame them for having such a rough time. That's funny. I wish I got to watch sooner. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, hi. Okay. So... Yeah, my inventory weight is awful. 